Hello. Hi, Gloria. Hi. How are Hi, you today, good Gloria? Good night. How are you today? Fine. Um, very stressful, but uh, good. Well, you feel stressed. What happened? Did you have a hard um, day? I. Yeah. And the traffic is very heavy traffic today. Wow, really? Ooh. So you're living in San Marcos, you say? No. Yeah, I, yeah, I live in San Marcos, but I work in Carretera al Puerto de la Libertad. Ah, yeah, the traffic there is crazy all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very difficult. In San Marcos, uh, the traffic is heavy uh, too, right? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, in the Comalapa or in the uh, strict old teacher uh, car Carretera Vieja, San Marcos. Yeah, the old street. In the street all. All street. The all street, okay. In the all street, uh, to, uh, is very uh, difficult, the traffic, because I have many uh, school or college in high school. And in the morning, the traffic is very difficult. In the afternoon, in San Marcos, uh, I, I, is not a uh, much uh, traffic, but in the San Salvador, uh, yeah, is uh, heavy the traffic. Mm, yeah, yeah. And what about you, Renee? How was your day? Ah, uh, teacher, I uh, very heavy. Uh, many work. A many lot of work. work. Uh, A uh, lot of work. Uh, stress, the traffic, so uh, 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 I tired right now. <laughs> You feel tired. Uh, yeah, it was late. Nah. I uh, met, met, I don't know. Yeah. I enjoyed this class. Okay. Um, and the follow. Follow. Okay. This class. Yes, I, I, I really enjoyed the class too. Um, yeah. I have had a very busy day. I was uh, teaching in the morning and then I came home and I did some uh, lesson plans and then I had lunch with some friends and then I came back home. <laughs> I went to yeah. do um, the grocery shopping and then uh, I prepared today's class. But I was really waiting for the class. I enjoyed the class too. Uh, okay, okay, very nice. <laughs> what about you, Gloria? What did you do today? Can you tell us what you did this day? Okay, uh, in the morning, I cook in my, my breakfast. In the morning, I cooked. In the morning, I cooked my breakfast and I prepare my lunch and my break for for all day. Ah, and I I I work I work all day from. 8 p.m. at 5 p.m. 
can I went a supermarket? You went to the supermarket? Uh, yes. Can I? Yes. Can take them? I I can. Oh, came my house. I came to my I house. My uh -huh. I okay. came to my house and I had a dinner. All right, very well, very, very well. So just remember that you have to be um, conjugating the verbs in past because we are talking in past. Okay. And what about you, Renee? What did you do today? In, uh, in the morning, uh, I get up. Uh, I get up or I got up? Uh, I got up. <laughs> uh -huh. In past, I got up. Yeah, I got up. Yeah. At the four, the four in the ten, ten minutes. Uh, uh, I am I am doing my work at I I was at work. I was at work. Uh, I was at work. Uh, at work. Or you uh, can say I arrived. I uh -huh. arrived at work. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, my 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 breakfast. My breakfast. Uh, uh, and at I had or oh, I ate breakfast. I ate my my breakfast uh -huh. at uh, at seven thirty. Okay. And, and 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 follow my my job my work. Oh, okay, very mm. nice. Now, um, if you see that conversation, mm -hmm. what can you tell me about the picture? Uh, they are, they are the test. The they are, they are going to have a test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I watch a. Uh, I watch what what he. Is difficult. It's difficult to see the 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 picture. Uh, no. But the test is difficult. You think that the test is uh -huh. difficult? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because he looks he looks worried. Mm -hmm. And she looks very confident. She looks like, ah, that's going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is the topic of the conversation is I didn't study. Okay. That's why maybe he looks worried. Okay, let us practice this conversation. Let's repeat. Hi, Amy, did you do? Hi, Amy, do you have a good weekend? Hi, I Amy. Mean, you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. Well, well I had a busy weekend, so I am a little tired today. Really? Why? Really? Really? Why? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. They, my room and I cleaned, did the laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. Well, I'm oh, sorry, I'm 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 sorry, i am sorry i am sorry i am sorry i am Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all the weekend. Oh, oh no. no. Do we, do we have, have a test, test today? today? I didn't, I didn't study. study. I just watched TV, TV all weekend. Okay, that's the reason because it's worried. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's practice the conversation. Can, 
You can start, Rene, and then you continue, Gloria. Okay. okay. Uh, hi, Annie. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm I a, a, a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise, exercise, teacher, sorry. I, uh, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning, then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopping, and then I visited my parents. Okay, listen, it says, I exercised. I exercised. Cleaned. Cleaned. Shopped. Shopped. Visited. Visited. Excellent. Uh huh. Okay, so what did you on Saturday? Or, uh, sorry, so what did you on Saturday? Ah. On Sunday, no, so no. relax, okay. relax. So, sorry, sorry. Breathe, <laughs> <laughs> breathe. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, so what, did, what did you do on Sunday? So what did you do on Sunday? Very good, good. <laughs> okay, I studied for the test all day. Oh, okay. no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. Ah, but, uh, I didn't study. I just watched your TV all weekend. All right, perfect. Now change. Change. Okay. You start, start Gloria. Gloria, okay. start. Okay. Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I am a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning to my roommate and I cleaned it to the laundry and shop it, and I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just, I just, I just watched TV I just watch TV. I just watch TV. I just watch TV. I just watch TV. Les voy a poner unos unos trabalenguas un día de estos. Sí. <laughs> I just watch I just watch TV. Just watch TV. Watch watched. Watch, I judge watch TV all weekend. Okay, now let's start with Guadalupe. You start, Rene, and you continue, Guadalupe. Okay. Okay. okay uh, hi, Annie. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I am really tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I am exercise in the morning. The me room, my me, roommate, my roommate is clean the laundry in the shopping. In the I visit visit my parents. So what uh, did you do on Sunday? <clears throat> I study for this day. This I die all day. Oh no! Do we have a test today? I didn't. I stood. I just with watching TV. I uh, just watched TV. I just watched TV all weekend. Okay. Uh, Change. Okay, now you uh, who start now. Ahora le toca empezar a Guadalupe. Okay. Hi, Amy. Did you have good? Hi, weekend? Amy. Hi, Amy. 
Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. So I'm a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommates and I clean up, do the laundry and shop. And then I visit my parents. So that did you do on Sunday? I studied for it just all day. Oh no. Do we have a test today? Okay, follow. Continue. The rest I didn't study. I I study for the test all day. Jackson? Mm, uh, ¿dónde? Uh, oh, oh, oh no, do we have a test today? Uh -huh. Continue, Guadalupe. I didn't study a youth, a youth week, watching TV watch all them. weekend. I just watching TV all weekend. Okay, okay. good. This is, um, as you see, in the conversation, they are talking about past, right? About the last okay. weekend and things like that. So what we are going to study now is the simple past. Teacher, voy a, a salir un momentito. Okay, Guadalupe. Hmm, we can teach her another presentation. <clears throat> you are a tired teacher? Okay. This is, uh, we're going to study simple past. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, in the, well, there are regular and irregular verbs. Which are the regular verbs? What are regular verbs? Um, the regular verbs? Eh... Are uh, the best when in the past uh, at li, letter ED? Okay, they follow a rule. They follow rules. Uh huh. Follow rules. Uh, in the simple past, the the ed, the at uh, ed I, finish in ed. Okay, uh, they finish in ed uh, most of the time. Yes, can you read that slide, Rene? Uh, we use the past simple to talk about things that happened in the past. Mm -hmm. um, Gloria? Okay, time expression. Yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a year. Last year? Last year? Last year, a uh, year ago, the day week before in 2010. Okay, when we talk in simple past, we can use expressions like that ones. 
Um, let's see. It, it, this is exactly what you were saying, Gloria. Most of the verbs end in ed to add the, the past ending, right? And it's the same for all, for first person and third plural singular. Well, it's it's the same for all the person. Okay. If you see in a few statements, we conjugate the verbs. Okay, I played, he, she, or it played. It doesn't change for third person singular, the verbs the same. We, you, they played. It's basically the same, right? Most of the verbs you just add, but uh, there are some spelling rules because you don't have all the time, right? Uh, for most of them, it's a infinitive plus ed, the verb in infinitive plus ed. For example, visit, visited, visit. Uh -huh, visited. Love ends in e. That's why we just add Love. the letter d. Love. Okay? Love. Love. Uh -huh. So most of the verbs, um, a la mayoría casi que se les agrega ed. Pero si el verbo termina en e, como el ejemplo love, solo le agregamos la de loved. Right? Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Luego empezamos a ver excepciones, como uh, si el verbo termina en y y antes de la y hay una vocal, solo le agregamos ed, igual, ¿verdad? Pero si termina en y y antes de la y hay una consonante, entonces en este caso cambiamos la y por y latina y agregamos ed. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Remember, si termina en vocal más y, solo agréguele ed. Pero si termina en consonante más y, hay que cambiar la y por y latina y agregar ed. Okay. Esto okay. se los mandé al grupo. Creo que recibieron unos WhatsApp antes de empezar la clase, ¿verdad? Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Les mandé esta presentación, les mandé una lista de verbos irregulares y les mandé el audio para que escuchen cómo se pronuncia y lo practiquen. Ok. ¿Verdad? Ok. Si son verbos de una sílaba y terminan en una vocal más una consonante y vamos um, con pronunciación con estrés, se dobla la consonante final y se agrega ed, como el caso de stop, start, doble p, okay. ed, bad, bad, right, w, t, ed. Okay, if it is two syllables with the stress in the second syllable, si es de dos sílabas, eh, con estrés en la segunda sílaba. Como permit. Usted escucha que hay un, eh, eh, el tono de voz se eleva un poquito en la segunda sílaba. Permit. Sí. ¿Ya? Sí. Permit. Entonces, lleva dos, dos sílabas. En inglés las sílabas se, se dividen por pronunciación. ¿Right? Mm. Ah, si es de dos sílabas y termina en una consonante. Um, y antes de la consonante hay una vocal, entonces se duplica, right? Y se agrega ed, se duplica la última consonante y se agrega ed. Permit, permitted. Commit, permitted. Right? Esas okay. son las reglas de spelling. Um, bueno, ahorita solo se las he explicado. Y ya la tienen en su teléfono por si las quieren descargar, imprimir, um, practicar. Ok, thank you. En oraciones afirmativas, cuando estamos hablando de eventos en pasado, siempre vamos a ir conjugando el verbo al tiempo pasado. Tom found his best friend. Mm -hmm. 
Ok. Si se fijaron, la anterior era una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Estoy diciendo, estoy afirmando que Tom le llamó por teléfono a su mejor amiga, right? Tom phone okay. his babe y he, he conjugado el verbo, ¿verdad? Con ed. Okay. Ahora, cuando son oraciones negativas en pasado simple, vamos a usar el auxiliar didn't. Did not. Y el mm -hmm. verbo, aunque estamos hablando de un evento pasado, el verbo se mantiene en presente. Porque la función del auxiliar es indicar tiempo pasado, um, además de estar haciendo una negación. Entonces, como el auxiliar ya indica tiempo, no necesito conjugar el verbo porque el, 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 el auxiliar está cumpliendo esa función. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. yes. I didn't play. He, she, it didn't work. We, you, they didn't watch. Yes, didn't. Para I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, es el mismo auxiliar, didn't. didn't. No cambia. Por eso yo siento que es más fácil el pasado que el simple que el presente simple. Porque en presente utiliza do, eh, don't para I don't, you don't, they don't. Uh -huh. Pero si es he, she, it, doesn't. Y lo mismo oración, en cambio en pasado simple solo es didn't. Para todos, okay. right? Sí, se generaliza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sí, okay. it's very simple. Very, very simple. Okay, as you see, they didn't study. We don't conjugate the verb. They didn't study for the math test. Mm -hmm. They studied for the history test. In affirmative statement, we conjugate. In negative mm -hmm. statement, use the auxiliary and don't conjugate the verb. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, for interrogative or for questions, para preguntas, para preguntas de respuesta corta, yes, no questions, primero vamos a utilizar did al principio, igual, did I, Did he, she, it, did we, you, they, is for all person. Y tampoco se conjuga el verbo. ¿Te fijan? Mm -hmm. Básicamente el verbo solo lo va a ir conjugando a pasado cuando esté haciendo oraciones afirmativas. Como si yo digo, trabajé por la mañana, I worked in the morning, I drove, mm -hmm to work, I drove home, mm -hmm. I met my friends, and like that, right? Okay. But if it's negative, I didn't, I didn't do the laundry, I didn't clean the house, uh-huh, I didn't. No change. <laughs> no, no chance. <laughs> I didn't go to the gym. <laughs> oh my God. Luckily, Joanne is not here. <laughs> All right. Okay. I promise next week. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Next week I will do. Okay. Did I play? Did he work? Did she work? Mm -hmm. And okay. as I told you, the year short answer. En la respuesta siempre es como un juego. Si la pregunta es con verbo to be, conteste con verbo to be. Si okay. es con do, conteste con do. Si es con das, conteste con das. Aquí es con did, contestamos con did. Y si es negativo, didn't. Did they visit London last year? Yes, they did. In affirmative, right? Did they visit London last year? Yes, they did. Can you read this one, Gloria? Did Kay walk to a school? What is the answer? What do you think? Look at the picture. What is the answer? Uh, yes. Yes, she walked to school. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, she. No, uh, no, uh, she didn't. No, she didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, because uh, she next to the bus. The uh -huh, okay. ah, okay. She's yeah. waiting while the bus is uh, behind her. Mm -hmm. uh, now let's look at the picture and make through sentences using the past simple. So we're going to practice. Okay. Um, for example, this one. This is the example, right? You have a set of words here. They ask a question. Now, using these words, I, I formulate the question. Did they ask a question? Yeah. Yes, they did. They asked yeah, a they question. Did. Or no, they didn't. Mm -hmm. But uh, I am looking at the picture and say, yes, they did, right? Yes, uh -huh. they did. Okay. Make the uh, question. Did Jill. Emily? Hmm. Did Emily? Did Emily visit the question wrong? Very good. What do you think is the answer? Yes, she did. She did. Yes, she did. She visited it. What about this one? Did, Did they play? they play football in the morning? Uh-huh, excellent. Did they play football in the morning? Yes. No. Did. No, they didn't. <laughs> no, they didn't. They played right. basketball. basketball. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't. They played basketball. Yeah. A question for this picture? <laughs> Did we dance? A low plus satellite. What do you think yes. is the answer? Yes, they, they danced. Yes, ah, we yes, did. We did. Uh -huh. we danced okay. a lot. A lot. Did what about Paul, this? Did Paul study hard? Mm -hmm. Yes, she did. He. Ah, he. he. <laughs> yes, <Sorry. laughs> that's okay. It's practice, practice. Yes, he did. Study hard. Yes, he did. He studied <laughs> hard. Did Sarah stay in bed late? <coughs> mm -hmm. Did Sarah stay in bed? Yes. And the answer? She did. Yes, yes she did. Yes, she did. She She's stayed in bed late. Late. What about this one? Did my cousin play the piano? Mm -hmm. 
Eh, no. Eh, I. No, I, he. Oh, he did. He, 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 oh, he played did. The he played the guitar. Uh -huh. No, he didn't. He played he didn't. the guitar. Yeah. Did Henry, have... did he, did, did Henry did... smile at me? Me. Well, at you. <laughs> at you? Huh? <laughs> yes, he did. Okay. Smile okay. at me. This is about um, regular verbs, right? Okay. Okay. Ok, eso es trabajando con verbos regulares, ¿verdad? Sí. Esto es lo que tenemos de simple past statements with regular verb. Es lo que ya explicamos en... Um, en la presentación, en el PowerPoint, ¿verdad? Los verbos en oraciones afirmativas sí. se, se van conjugando, los regulares, con ED la mayoría. Um, si es negativa, vamos a usar el auxiliar DIDEN y el verbo no lo vamos a conjugar con ED. Y también vimos las reglas de spelling, ¿verdad? Sí. La mayoría de verbos ED y todo eso. Aplicando sí. eso... Van a completar estas oraciones. Hay que leer y completar aplicando esto que acabamos de estudiar. No sé si tienen el cuaderno por ahí para que vayan completando esto. Utilizando los verbos sí. que tienen en paréntesis. Ok. 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 Eh.
finish. Everybody finish? Yeah, I finish. Okay, let us check your answers. Okay. Uh, on Friday night, I waited uh, for a phone call, but my girlfriend uh, didn't call. Uh, I just uh, stayed home okay. and watched on TV. And watched mm -hmm. watch on TV. On Saturday. Uh -huh. I vis I visited my friend's friend. Mm -hmm. We oh. talk oh. and listening. Oh. We talk and listening mm -hmm. to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we quit. Cook. We cook it. Cook it. A uh, great meal. Okay. I didn't work very hard on Sunday, okay. and and I didn't I didn't study at all. I just walk into the mall and shop. Shop. Yeah. Okay. So if you have these answers like this, they are correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the this is Tokyo. This is now. Intel. Kuka. Didn't work. I didn't study. Uh, work. Okay. Shopping. I have a time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You did a great job. So. Let's see what is next. Okay, here we have a chart with some irregular verbs. Esos son los que no siguen la regla de ED. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. ok, me gustaría que ustedes los escriban en cuál es el presente de estos verbos en su cuaderno, present and past. Okay. Bueno. Present. Bueno. It. It. Uh -huh. It. It. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, feel. Feel. Uh -huh. Feel. Feel. Make. Make. Uh, Make. Uh -huh. Make. Real. Real. Uh, uh-huh, real. Uh, row, uh, row, row. Row, row. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, row. No. Uh, the road, what is road? Okay, see. tuvimos problemas en road. Continue. Okay, uh, see. It's right. Teacher, row is right. Ride. Uh -huh. Ride a bike, ride a motorcycle. Uh -huh. Okay, right. Ride. Uh, the next is C. C. Uh, sat. Uh, is sat. Sit. Mm. Okay, uh, take the last. Mm -hmm. take, take the last. Take. Uh, yeah. See your answers here. Yeah. No. Two. Uh, Eight. Take a row. Right. Uh -huh. Seven, sit. Ah, sit. Right. Right. 
okay. Sit. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, let's practice. Bye. 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 But. 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 It. 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 Feel. 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 Felt. Felt. Feel. Make. 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 Made. 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 Read. 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 It's red, like the color. Red. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, may it's... Uh, ride. Ride. Road. Road. See. See. So. So. Sit. Sit. Sat. Sat. Take. 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 Took. 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 Okay, as we mentioned before, uh, we cannot, um, como mencionamos antes, estos verbos no tienen una regla que seguir, que diga, agréguele ed para hacer, um, pasado simple o quítele este oh, so, ellos cambian totalmente no tienen como una uh, definida una regla lo mejor y lo que se debe de hacer con estos verbos es memorizarlos verdad porque como no siguen una regla eh, les mandé al whatsapp una lista que contiene los verbos más comunes los más utilizados entonces están, um, ahorita les explico, veamos si la tengo por acá, acá está. Ok, esta es la lista que ustedes recibieron. Uh -huh. Y también recibieron el audio para que usted vaya escuchando y practicando. Uh, okay. Por ejemplo, okay. el verbo be son dos formas, was y were. Eso la vamos a estudiar porque el verbo to be tiene su, su otra parte, ¿verdad? Él sí, no se sí. usa didn't, no. Vamos a hacer un repaso del to be también en esta sección. Estamos, hemos iniciado la sección 2 y vamos a estar trabajando con el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces tenemos aquí become, became. pasado simple, became, begin, began, bit, bite, bite, uh. Uh -huh. bit. Bite, bit. bit. Uh -huh. Blow. Blow. Blue. Blue. Break. Break. Broke. 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 Ring. Ring. Broad. Build. 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 Buy. Buy. Boach. Can. Can. Cold. Could. Could. Cut. 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 Coach. Choose. 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 Chose. Chose. Uh -huh. chose. In present is choose and in past is chose. Teacher. Teacher, yes. sorry. What is the difference in the sound uh, in the verb choose and the choose zapatos? <laughs> Eh, la diferencia es el, el, el sonido como es, es fonética, porque esto, a ver, veamos, um, este es con shoes, shoes, y este es sh, como que es shoes, ajá, shh. es como como que está diciendo silencio, shoes. Y esto es como que decir chino, shoes, shoes, así, shoes, 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 Try to practice, try to memorize the verbs, practice them every day if it is possible. And um, well, we're gonna stop here.
Uh, tomorrow is Friday, no classes. Ah, okay, a menos okay. que sean de baile, okay? I don't remember. <laughs> Hay que tomar clases de baile los viernes. I agree. I agree. <laughs> totally. <laughs> All right. Okay. Enjoy your weekend, study a lot, and see you on Monday. Okay, teacher. Okay, Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.